Well, with more frequent flooding across the United States, a new flood monitoring system is being installed to help combat these events. Dr. Lee Hasselback is a professor at Lamar University's Civil and Environmental Engineering Department, joining us live right now. Thank you so much. Uh, tell us all about this first of its kind program, whatever we can do to help people, right? Yeah, so this is a, a collaboration between our group here at Lamar University and the city of Orange to launch a community flood watch program. And we're not the first. I'm not sure how many there are, but I know there's one in Folly Beach, South Carolina. And we'd like to do the same thing. We've been talking about it for many years. Uh, so what it is is that you actually put up a sign with I would call it a yardstick on the bottom. Um, they call it a staff gauge, technically. Anyway, so that <clears throat> people in the community can watch when the water starts coming up and they can use a QR code on it with their phone to take a picture of how high the water is rising as it goes along. So the city will be doing installing these signs and they'll be developing the website for the QR codes. Um, <clears throat> it's important for them to understand in the future, for instance, uh, where it might flood and how deep it floods so they can do models. But I think one of the most important things is after a rainstorm, when you have flood and the emergency managers want to come back in, this gives them some idea of how fast it might be receding. If the citizens go and take a picture, um, you know, and show them that it takes a day to go down three inches, they'll know how they can stage equipment, how, how soon they might be able to get in and other things like that. All right. So, OK, I understand now because my, my next question was how, you know, Texans or entire nation can can be helped from this technology. It sounds like it's more like user generated. So when I'm out and about driving and I see this flood, I snap a picture of that QR code and then it tells this system, OK, this is where it's at currently. And you're basically getting the public to help out with that info. Absolutely. We do have a, a fairly large uh, Internet of Thing flood system here, but using them with the solar panels and the Wi-Fi um, and all the technical equipment and all, they are very high maintenance. In this case, it does two things. One, it's much more low maintenance since it's, it's literally a sign um, out in the weather instead of equipment out in the weather. But the most important thing is it brings the community together so they start understanding and can be involved in in um, how, what's happening with the flood and they themselves can see how fast it's rising and everything else. Just so you know, um, uh, the city of Orange in, in Texas is surrounded by flood options. It can get storm surge from hurricanes like Rita. So they have that. It has tidal flooding. It also has riverine flooding from uh, the Sabine River and a lot of the bayous there. And it also, we're right here where the largest rainstorm uh, from Harvey came, the 60 inches. So it can get straight rain. And uh, the city is looking to put these, these posts with their rulers or staff gauges on them in various places to try and look at all the different types of flooding we can get. I love that this is a group effort. And yeah. that it's all about the community coming together um, to hopefully save lives. That's really what it's all about and, and protect people. So thank you so much, Dr. Liv Hasselbeck, uh, Liv Hasselbeck, professor at Lamar University Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. Yeah, appreciate your time. That in orange, so for anybody who doesn't know, it's like way east Texas, right before you get to Louisiana, right there on the Sabine River. So, yeah, floods a lot there. Yeah.